Hello everyone, it's Mike speaking and I'm hiding behind my cloak of invisibility. Don't you just love special effects that you can do? This week's episode we're going to have a look at doing some really cool stuff with After Effects. After all, that's what I do my own podcast with. We're going to bring in some 3D artwork from Photoshop and I'm going to show you how you can not only spin it in 3D inside of After Effects but also track it to something on the stage as well. So I hope you really enjoy this particular episode. It's got a whole lot of really cool stuff in it and that's what it's all about here on Creative Sweet TV because it's sweet. Enjoy. I would have to say that that is probably the best introduction I've ever done, if I do say so myself. You should be very excited because this episode is just a, such a fun thing. Dealing with Photoshop, dealing with After Effects, Special Effects, it's all good. And 3D. What we're looking at here um, is a 3D object, a 3D model that's been bought in to Photoshop. This is Photoshop Extended, by the way. And you can see uh, right down the bottom here we have... Uh, the 3D icon on the layer, so that makes it very easy to recognize. If I go ahead and select that, uh, I can then come over and use the 3D tool. So the 3D rotate tool is available to me over here. And just so that you can see, I'll spin that around. Yes, we have got all the sides, top and bottom, and all the rest of it. So it is actually a proper 3D model. Very good. As well as that, there's something else I wanted to point out to you. Um, on this TV screen, um, we can change all of the textures on here. So you can see we've got different textures. Uh, I can actually select different areas. So this, as you can see, if I scroll, scroll in, you can see we can select the TV screen and what the texture is on that screen. And we can even tell um, what we'd like to go on that screen. So in this case, I can load a new texture or sorry make a new texture or load a texture. I can even load in an existing QuickTime movie. So this is a QuickTime movie I created in Photoshop. I can open that and then that will get plonked onto the screen. So that movie will actually play if I bring out my animation panel, that movie will actually play as I scrub through there on the screen of a 3D model. So that's the Orion Nebula for those of you playing at home. Very good. Okay, let's close that. We won't bother saving it, but we'll we'll just close that. So we have a 3D model inside of Photoshop, but we like to use it in After Effects. So you can see in this case, I've already bought it in and it tracks onto my finger. So we've done that using the track motion inside of After Effects. So let's step through this again and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, let me select both those objects and we'll remove them out of there. And so I can show you how to do it. So we double click in the project window and that allows us to then go ahead and select the file that we're after. And this is the file right here. It's the Photoshop TV object. Okay, so we click open on that. And then this little window is really quite telling because it says, yes, Mike, that's me over there. Yes, Mike, you can bring in the live Photoshop 3D. Okay, so we do that and that will automatically create for us a uh, After Effects composition. So the After Effects composition then sits in here and I can scrub through this timeline. There it is. Okay, we've got everything we need there. When you bring in a 3D model, you also get a 3D controller layer. And that's what this is here. So if you'd like to spin this in time inside of After Effects, then you simply come down to Transform here. And then you go to the Z rotation. There's Z rotation. And I can spin that around. So as I drag that around, you'll notice the TV screen spinning around at the top. So if I want to have this happen over time, which is what I did in the introduction clip, I put a keyframe on there. I move to another point in time, let's just say 10 seconds. 
and then I can rotate that all the way around and then it comes back on the other side and then it is rotated so that as I scrub through the timeline there it will go so hopefully uh, that happens for you now the next step is to then bring that into our overall composition and you may not know this but you certainly can nest one composition onto another composition it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it in and then that TV object becomes part of uh, the overall screen so there it is there of course it's way too big um, and then we can zip back out and scale it down to an appropriate size maybe about that big and get it in the right spot so that's all cool the last thing that you we need to figure out is how to track it you see so here's me sort of walking around and doing my little introduction and this is all a little bit of fun isn't it okay so let's zoom in we'll find out what we want to track it to so we just scrub through this timeline da, 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 throw that away we come up a little bit further and I'll put my finger in the air now this is actually what we want to track on top of my finger okay so underneath um, if we go underneath the animation drop down menu we can go to track motion okay now when we want to track motion we simply drag this little area right over the top and it will analyze the little pixels in there okay we can make this box a little bit bigger and move it around make sure that's right and then when we're ready to start tracking we can come down the bottom here and hit analyze forward there are a number of options for this so if you if you click on the options it is a good idea that if it loses its way to stop tracking and then you can fix it up so let's have that option on we'll say track forward and you'll see it will track along those pixels okay and then if it loses its way it'll stop like it has at this point and then we can simply pick up these little areas and it just say there you go little fella and keep tracking and it will do that and that is exactly how I created the introduction to this podcast okay as I'm sure you'd like to have a look at it thanks again for tuning in my name's Mike and I really hope you enjoyed Creative Suite TV motion tracking 3D from Photoshop Music